Hey there, brother. This is Steve Horseman with Good Guys to Great Men. Thank you for being here all year long uh, watching these videos. I do want to give you something of value today, and that is a reminder about the sin that we make with self-help. I did it too. And there's this thing we do. And before I tell you the self-help sin, I want you to think about when you've ever practiced anything by yourself. Like if you had, were, played tennis and you just banged the ball against the wall by yourself or soccer, you just dribbled or you practiced juggling a soccer ball or you just threw frisbees to yourself, right? Boomerang. If, if you practice on your own, it doesn't count for much. I don't even know if you can practice chess on your own. I think you still have to have somebody else in the room. And that is the self-help sin. The self-help sin is to read another book listen to another podcast, go to another seminar, and, and keep doing and doing and doing and reading and reading and reading and listening and listening and watching videos like this, right? And I'll tell you, it can only take you so far. At some point, you need to go, I know, what, I know enough for now. What I want to do is practice this with other people. And I tell you what, nothing accelerated my sense of peace, my sense of belonging, my sense of significance, my sense of progress. Nothing accelerated it more than when I started getting involved with other men, talking to other men, writing other men, texting and chatting, Facebooking with other men, but opening my soul, opening my heart, letting myself be seen and asking to see them, the true them. The dirty little secret is that dudes love this stuff. Now, when women say, you don't connect with me or you don't see me and you don't hear me, from their perspective, that's their truth. You don't see them or hear them. But they think that you don't have the emotional availability or that you don't have the emotional intimacy or the intelligence to want to connect. And I know that's dead wrong because we have hundreds of guys like me who love talking about stuff emotions, relationships, women, sexuality, all of the things that go with having an inspired, exciting life. And yeah, we talk about sports and cars and women too, all that stuff. But in this community, these men love to go deeper, get out of the shallow end of the pool and get into that six, seven foot end where your feet don't touch anymore, where you have to tread water. And you get challenged intellectually and emotionally and even spiritually. You get challenged in our community and it is fun. In fact, if you don't have this in your life and you're trying to get it exclusively from your marriage or your relationship with women, that may be part of the problem because you're trying to exercise that emotional skill that you need to be able to have with men. You need to be able to trust yourself to trust other men. And when you feel that, you know you're moving in the right direction. And you might notice that you didn't even read a self-help book for an entire week, right? Because after so much self-help and training and podcasting and webinars and seminars, you decide that what I wanna do is really practice this in the real world. I need to put down my studies and go practice in the real world. And that is my invitation to you. My community is extremely active and very worldwide. There's somebody somewhere who lives not too far from you. And when you engage in the men's round table or the how to defuse the divorce bomb group, or you come to a retreat, or you come into one-on-one -on -one coaching into my private Facebook group, all of a sudden your world is opened up to a community of men who are exactly like you. They know you, they know your heart, and they also know your fears. It is the safest and most enjoyable place to be in the world and when you practice in this sandbox you become a rock star with all this self-help stuff you've been reading it becomes real tangible it becomes actionable for you and that's what I want most for you and that's my holiday invitation whatever it takes it's time to stop contemplating personal growth and actually accelerating your personal growth and I would love to be a part of it thanks for listening and have a great holiday take care brother bye-bye